The Minister of Communications, Innovation and Digital Economy, Bosun Tijani, has said the federal government is working with all stakeholders as well as the National Assembly towards the enactment and implementation of a robust data protection law in line with international best practices. The minister revealed this at a sensitization workshop on data privacy and protection in Nigeria, organized by the Nigeria Data Protection Commission, NDPC, in Abuja. While he revealed that the data protection laws would put relevant organizations on their toes, the minister assured Nigerians that their personal data will be kept confidential. Data is the currency or is the oil for any AI because AI needs the data set to make decisions, to do anything you want it to do. So without the data, the clean data, the AI cannot make an informed decision. Therefore, we need to find a way to navigate our ways between putting the data forward, protecting our personal data, and also leaving the data open so that people will take it and innovate. And also AI can use it to help us make decisions. Because the way we are going with time everything every decision will be made by ai or an ai system you know the ministry uh, used to be a supervising ministry for uh, nimsi which is now under the ministry of interior but we're working with the ministry of interior to ensure that the progress that has been made with nimsi can actually give direction for the harmonization of data it's been a journey for Nigeria. You know, we started with all sort of data collection processes. BVN, to a large extent, was, was quite successful. But NIMSI, I think, is giving a standard for how, through NIM, how data should actually be collected and used. So I think that direction in terms of harmonization will come from the progress that we've seen with NIMSI. And the ministry is going to work quite closely with the agency, but also the Ministry of Interior to make sure that this is properly done. I know that is the area of uh, ecosystem and technology. What kind of technology can we use to actually drive compliance in this country? Indigenous solutions, not important solutions from all over and from different places. We have the people, we have the knowledge here. Yeah? So we need to develop homegrown solutions that can assist in compliance. Then sustainability and funding, which I already mentioned. A major challenge for DPAs all over the world is the issue of funding. Uh, but we've adequately taken care of that in our law. And we don't really have any problem. The partnership and collaboration, which is really key, as I mentioned, really makes me that. This is something that no single entity can do it. We all need to work together. The bit there, the civil society groups, you have your roles, the area of awareness, the area of capacity, the area of advocacy. So with all of us working together, that's the only way we can really deepen the importance of data privacy and protection in Nigeria.